Hey everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about eyeshadow palettes because out of all the things there are for Christmas and the Christmas kits and the sets and you know everything from everybody, all I want is eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> And I specifically want good eyeshadow palettes. So, you know, what's good, what's not good, what colors do you like, what, you know, I mean, don't need any of it, but um, this is what I've got so far. Um, I was really, really, really attracted to the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. So, this is the first thing that I bought and I just absolutely love it. Comes in this really pretty orangey red box and here's the palette. And my palette is a mess, but here here she is. Now all the colors are out of order. They're all gouged. I actually was going to use this yesterday, which I did, but I had it sitting up on my kitchen, not my kitchen, my bathroom sink, and my new kitten jumped up and flipped it, and it went, landed upside down on the floor, I should have taken a picture, with all, every single pan popped out of this palette. And how it looks this good is a miracle of God, but I didn't know where to put them in what order so I just picked them up and you know quickly put it back in because there's a plastic insert a black plastic I guess they're magnetized but they're in a plastic insert and how, how none of them are broken I, is a miracle of God look at my look at my poor palette I mean it's gouged and it's nicked but she's in one piece you know from a height of like three feet so I don't even I love this palette. It's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of a cross between Sunset and, um, I don't know, Tropic maybe without the blue, but the, uh, the, the mattes and stuff it reminds me of, a, and it kind of reminds me a little bit of Desert Dusk. But anyways, that's $65. It's her first small palette. I absolutely love it and I've already dropped it so I don't know maybe during the sale I'll buy a backup um, but I've got to be more careful or be careful with this one because every single pan popped out upside down on the floor I couldn't even believe it but anyways um, I've been really attracted for some reason to uh, the golds and the greens um, uh, for the fall vibes um, so I had to get the Natasha Denona mini gold palette again these are items that I didn't want to wait to buy because they're limited edition or I feel like they'll sell out or I just wanted them so if I can stack and use my Rakuten which is at a higher percentage during off season than during you know Sephora sales they adjust the down to two percent then you know if you can get four percent or eight percent or a higher percentage cash back off season and then they're offering a gift with purchase like okay um they were offering a gift with purchase so what i got was a sephora play box i'm not a subscriber to sephora play but these are ten dollars a month subscription boxes and if you spent i can't remember what it was maybe 75 bucks or 60 bucks you could get a free Sephora play box so when you think about getting a free $10 box of samples and getting a higher cash back with Rakuten and using your discover card now I haven't got the Sephora gift card I mean a uh, uh, credit card I probably will uh, it's probably like Ulta's you know it's got a 20 something percent interest rate which is crazy but unless they improve the rewards program with Sephora I'm not chomping at the bits to get that card because Ulta's got a way better rewards program um, you know unless you get extra points back which you can apply toward getting the 2500 points will get you a hundred dollars Sephora, Sephora gift card so right now I've got a little over 2,000 points so uh, with a gift card you know I don't know I don't know about that Sephora card 
Their whole program needs to change. But anyway, so I got this play box, and let me just tell you about this play box um, real quick, and we'll get back to the um, Natasha Denona uh, mini gold palette. So I get this play box, and people are paying $10. These are samples that should be given for free, okay? You shouldn't have to be paying $10 for this. So what I got was, um, okay, so here's my play box. My, it comes with a little plastic bag. And then here's the advertisement for the Sephora card. So we'll see. I'm sure it's, you know, 25% interest. But anyways, okay. Oh, I bought the Metropolis eyeshadow palette too. I'm fixing to tell you about that. So it must have been a $75 purchase to get a free $10 play box. So what's in this play is, okay, an It Brow Powder, um, and that's in the Universal Taupe shade. Yeah, Universal Taupe. So you get that. And a uh, Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primer. A little sample of that. And then you get a... Um, and it was supposed to be the Fall Box. This is not the Fall Box. This is the... Um, Yeah, I was supposed to get the fall box. They sent me a, um, I don't know what this box is, but not the one I was supposed to, the fall, yeah, I was supposed, oh, Winning Beauty. This is the Winning Beauty box, so these are the items that came in it, but it was supposed to be the fall, Sephora, uh, fall must-haves, but no, they sent me the wrong, that's another thing about Sephora, rarely do you get the samples that you ask for. The only way you're going to get them is if you do the point perks and buy them. But any any time there's samples, you, you hardly ever get the ones you signed up for. Okay, Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Marine Do It Right Eye Gel. Well, that sounds pretty good. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, then here is a mini Glam Glow Good in Bed Passion Fruit Softening Night Cream. Well, I like Glam Glow. I got that uh, big cleanser in my... Um, my... Uh, my bo the box subscription boxy charm okay got one of those so I do like the glam glow so that I'm looking forward to that so um, Peter Thomas Roth the cucumber gel mask I already use Peter Thomas Roth products I like them all very much I already have this mask so that's fine that's a good product it is very cooling if you have a sunburn and then uh, caviar anti-aging bond repair shampoo and conditioner you know, again, these are samples. They should be giving you this stuff for free. This is not something, I'd not pay $10. I mean, you can spend 20, well, it's 21 now, it's gonna be $25 a box. $25 a box from BoxyCharm and you get like full size stuff. This is stuff, you know, if you wanna do this for point perks, and that's probably, you know, point perks, fine, or samples or gift with purchase but you shouldn't have to be paying ten dollars because you know the companies gave this stuff to Sephora for free they didn't buy this stuff I mean all this is pro I mean I don't know that's what I'm thinking about it but uh, yeah I got that for free so that's fine but I would definitely not sign up for Sephora play um, anyways I did get a couple other samples these are the sa these are samples I actually did get the ones I signed up for which hardly ever happens they are like, maybe they're getting better I signed up for the Tarte Tingling Knockout. I've heard so much about this Tarte Tingling Knockout treatment that I've been wanting to try it. So um, that is a sample I requested and I actually got, so that was a shock. And then I wanted to try the Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes perfume, and I actually got that too. I've heard a lot of good things about Juliet Has a Gun perfumes, and um, I was just wanting to try that. So th those are a couple of Sephora samples that I selected that I actually got. So, okay, where were we? I'm rambling again. Um, back to Natasha Denona. So I'm really feeling the olive green, uh, green vibes. And I've got her brown green palette as well that I really like. But um, it comes in the little box like it does. And then your sleeve. And unfortunately, this came broken. So, you know, that's just sickening. That center gold shade is just, oh my gosh. I hope it doesn't fall out. But anyways, here's the mini gold palette. I didn't buy the big gold palettes. One of the few Natasha, I didn't need 50 shades of gold and a blue pop, so I didn't buy it. But I was attracted to this. I was hoping this one on the end was gonna be more green 
uh, but it's not. It's I guess it's got maybe green. I don't know. It's it's still gold, but um, and then you've got like a matte sage green, and then the gold is about ready to fall out here, and um, then you've got a, a matte a transition set shade, you know, a, a, a buttery looking, um, and then you've got a brown. So, anyways, I don't hardly ever return stuff, and I hardly ever get anything broken. Miracle of God, because you know Sephora. Sephora and Ulta both, they just throw their crap in boxes. It's not padded. It's um so anyways, they are sent they asked me if I want a refund or if I want another one. Well I want another one, you know. So um that's too bad that that happened. But um very pretty. I haven't used it yet, but I just wish it was a little bit more green down here. But I'll enjoy it. Um and that would be good for travel if it wasn't broken. So I'll be getting another one. Okay, so next I got the um, right along the the number one palette that I wanted for Christmas this year that I went ahead and already bought. You know because 20% off, well that'd be 20 bucks, but with the free Sephora Sephora Play box and you know the additional Rakuten percentage the cash back, um, it's the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. And I was really attracted to this because she hasn't made a 28 pan palette since five years ago when she came out with the big 28 pans the green brown and the purple blue and I do have both of those palettes and I love them very much I love Natasha Denona's eyeshadow are they overpriced hell yes they're overpriced um, but anyways I love them uh, this is a dark green uh, some would say blue package uh, very holiday-esque um, and then when you open it up it has her kind of leatherette or you know her patent leather looking that she has like on the sunset palette and her her large 28 pan palettes come with this packaging and I think it's so pretty and when I opened it up I mean because I saw this online and people were bashing it and I was like that screams fall to me I know this is supposed to be about New York City um, and the grungy smoky but what I see here is fall leaves I see New England gold red orange yellow maple trees um if you've ever been to new england uh and seen the spectacularly beautiful maple trees the fall foliage that's what this screams to me is fall foliage and i absolutely love it and it's since i didn't buy the gold palette it seems like a combination of the gold palette with the pops of blue and it seems like it's got some of the sunrise in it with the corals and the berries and it seems like it's got some of the um, green brown a little bit there but I just really love it because it's a 28 pan but it's small so it's travel size for me travel size I, I don't travel with big 28 pan Natasha Denona palettes but this I would take along and it is so pretty and with that and the new sunrise palette that's what I wanted for Christmas was these two palettes so I already got my Christmas present and they're just spectacularly beautiful and here they are together and I'm just gonna be careful with this one because I don't want it to, to fall out but anyways both of those palettes are just so so pretty and one thing that I noticed too well I just stuck my finger on that one um, one thing that I noticed about the Metropolis palette is I think there's very well there's not so many well there's plenty of mattes but I thought it would look really good with the Safari palette which is an all matte palette and I like that palette I know a lot of people don't like that palette and people want to bash it or whatever and they bash Tropic Tropic is some people's worst Natasha Denona palette it is my absolute favorite one that I use the most and I know that sounds crazy but I mean that just shows that everybody has their opinion so if you like something buy it if you like it if it's somebody else's worst palette and maybe it's your favorite palette so and that's the case with, like with Safari so look at Safari this is an all matte palette I absolutely love it and if you take the Safari and put it with Metropolis they are perfect companions you've got the oranges the blues the greens the matte yellows all of those go really really well together can y'all see that I mean that is these are perfect 
companion palette. So very, very happy to have that. And um, yeah, moving right along. Let's get into some more palettes. So I absolutely love Metropolis. Absolutely love Natasha Denona. Looking forward to getting another mini gold since I did not, the gold is one of the few I didn't buy. I didn't buy Biba either. Maybe I'll go back and get it, but I didn't want 50 shades of brown. But anyways, okay, on to the next. So, and one thing, oh, that's what I wanted to show you too. The reason that I really liked, and, and maybe not so much now that I'm looking at it, but when I first saw it, it reminded me of the Mario Master Palette. This was my fir very first Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And this was the palette that reminded me of fall. When I first got this, see the browns and the golds and the greens? So uh, maybe that resembles the blue palette. Uh, I mean, excuse me, the full-size gold palette more so than... Um, let's have a look. But that used to be my fall palette. When fall would come around, I'd break out my Mario palette. So let's have a look at that now. And it's still good, although a bit uh, bit dusty here. So let's compare. Okay, well, yeah, they're totally different, but very similar. So this is a previous fall palette, which you can't get anymore. Maybe you can find it on eBay. But the Mario palette, the master palette from ABH, and uh, my new fall vibes palette, Metropolis. So anyways, just a little throwback there to, that was my very first Anastasia palette that started it all. And uh, so that's a lot of fun. Okay, next I wanted to talk about, again with the green and the gold, uh, the Smoke Sessions palette. Um, I just fell in love with those greens. This is from Melt Cosmetics, comes in the green foil box. It looks very Christmassy. And um, this palette, it's just, it's just the greens and the golds. I'm just, I don't know what it is. I'm very, I'd like to have a look at that Hourglass Vivid Scattered Light. Um, actually, what I wish is uh, Tarte's Chrome Paint Pots would come out with an olive green because the Tarte Chrome Paint Pots, the Marc Jacobs Sequins, and the Hourglass Scattered Light, all those glitter eyeshadows that are kind of in the pots with the little damper and lid, um, I was hoping maybe it maybe they'll come out with one for Christmas. Somebody else needs to come out with an olive green glitter eyeshadow besides hourglass because this stuff is just ridiculously overpriced. I mean, when you can pick up pick up t four of tarts for twenty four bucks, um, they just need to make a green. But anyways, isn't that pretty? And I just love those greens and golds in that Smoke Sessions palette. So I highly recommend you getting that one. Um, during the upcoming uh, Sephora VIB sale if you can hold out. Um, let me see, what else did I get? Another recommendation palette is uh, the new ABH Jackie Ina. Now, as far as ABH goes, I've been really eyeballing those uh, Norvina pigment palettes. They look very, very pretty. I like the all the purple mattes in the first one. In the second one, I like the blues and the greens, but I was looking at my Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette, and it very strongly resembles the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette, so I might not be picking that up. And the green one, I mean, the uh, one that just came out with the oranges, the Norvina 3, with the oranges and the greens, that looks really pretty too, but I don't know. I am not 100% about pigments. Um, I like them, but... I prefer eyeshadows, um, just not flat, chalky, matte. I don't know. They're, you know, pigments. Okay, here's here's what I think about pigments, and, and I might be wrong. Pigments just seem like a fast buck, like an easy way out. Like, just, you know, you're not formulating anything. It's just the straight color pigment pressed into a palette. It doesn't get any easier than that. So, you know, you get different shades of purple or different shades of orange or gold or whatever. Pigments are easy. They're easy, they're fast, they're, they're you know, and, and they're not, they are what they are. They're pure pigments. So, I mean, I think it takes more thought and time to make an eyeshadow, and I'd rather have an eyeshadow than a pigment. So, I mean, let me know what you think. I mean, I still like pigments. I mean, Jeffree Star's got a lot of pigments in his eyeshadows and I do like them because they're a fast transition and 
you know, but I don't know. I think pigments are just like, I mean, look how fast those came out. Jackie Ina, and here's my Jackie Ina palette. Jackie, 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 a Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. And my name's Jackie, so I mean, I had to, I had to support Jackie. But um, anyways, I just thought this was beautiful. And it's got some pigments in it too, but it's the Anastasia shadows that we know and love. And I love, I love the palettes. And it's so pretty, and you have your purples here, and you know, that's probably a pigment, and the pink, and I just think this is beautiful. This is a beautiful fall palette, and um, I absolutely love it. And until I can see those Norvinas in store, because, you know, when they're online only, I'd rather look at a product, because what, what happens when I look at a product, something I thought I wanted, I don't want anymore, and then I see something else in store that I like that I didn't even know about. So... Um, I've got to see those Norvina Pro Pigment palettes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably going to pass. And uh, along that line, um, the Viseart Grande Pro 3 palette that just came out, it is basically uh, the rainbow palette. And I was very attracted to it. Viseart makes some of my favorite shadows. They're, again, they're so... $80 for the small palettes. The big, This big palette I think is $175. I'm probably going to pass on that because I have the Editorial Brights and the Editorial Brights actually has a few more colors in it instead of just like straight rainbow, blue, green, you know, yellow. Uh, so I'm probably going to pass on that busy. I thought I wanted to get it until I looked at my Editorial $80 palette and decided I don't need that. So I'm going to pass on that. Maybe if I see it in store, well, I'm not going to see it in store. My Sephora doesn't carry it. My nearest Sephora store is two hours away. No, it's three hours away. Um, I just have a Sephora in, inside JCPenney's, which is an hour away, and they don't carry half of anything. But anyways, um, I'll, I'll be passing on that high dollar Viseart palette as well. And I'm probably, unless I can buy them with my points. Now, see, they are over at... Um, they are over at Ulta as well. They're at Sephora and they're at Ulta. So if I, if I pick up one of those palettes, it'll be with my points. I'm not going to spend 60 bucks on pigment palette. I'm just not, I don't know, whatever. Okay, next. Um, the Violet Voss Bright Vibes. Now, this is the wrong season for this. This is their neon palette and this is a summer palette and uh so i'll have to be saving it for next year or maybe if you know i'll, I'll wear whatever whenever i want to wear it but normally i'll i'll wear this stuff in the summertime and i just had to have it i just thought it was so pretty and um i like neons and and here it is now you probably have to use like a white base to get it to come out any kind of neon is going to be a little difficult whether it's a nail polish it's good to have a white undercoat or, you know, if it's an eyeshadow, you probably want to use a base to make that color pop. But I just thought this was so pretty. And I'm not really sure how neon-y they are, except for just maybe brights. And I, like I said, I do have the Viseart Editorial Brights. If you're looking for a rainbow palette, or a neon palette, or a bright palette of any kind, the original $80 Editorial Brights palette from Viseart. It's a, um, what is it, a 15 pan palette or six, I don't know what it is. Look at that palette before you buy anything because it was the original one and I think once you have that you really don't have any of these, you don't need any of these rainbow palettes. But I just wanted to get this one because I just love neon and uh, that'll be great for next summer or whenever I feel like wearing it. So that is... Um, all my recommendations for, uh, oh wait, there's one more. This one is the, the Too Faced Palm Springs palette. Now, wait for the sale on this if you're interested. I thought it was a nice size travel palette. It's very pretty. It came out during the Sephora VIB sale last time. And I mean, this is just a, it's a, it's a real pretty like pink metal package with a, a sticker on it um, and then it's got little uh, the peaches this maybe this would used to be a peach palette of some sort but the colors are just you know typical Too Faced pinks pop of blue neutrals peachy um, I thought it was a real pretty 
It smells a little bit like what I don't know. They're just rehashing the same palette over and over again. It kind of looks like the peach palette. Uh, it's, you know how all Too Faced palettes are. But anyways, I did get this on sale at, uh, it like the second day of the Sephora VIB sale, this came out, so I purchased it. So anyways, this looks enough like the gingerbread spicy palette that I won't be buying that gingerbread extra spicy palette because this has got the paint, the same colors. Um, maybe that gold is different. But anyways, I thought that was a nice palette. I haven't used it yet, but um, I did think that was nice. Okay, so that is um, all the stuff. Those are my Sephora recommendations. And this is running long, so I'm going to stop here. And next I'm going to do my Ulta palette hauls because I still have one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six more palettes to talk about that I got at Ulta and then two others that aren't available anymore but I'm hoping they come out with something for Christmas because these are really great palettes that I'm going to show you but they're they're already sold out, they're long gone and I'm hoping that this brand comes out with something for Christmas and maybe if you like these palettes you can get them on eBay or something but anyways okay so that's my Sephora palette haul my name's Jackie thanks for tuning in please like subscribe leave a comment down below um, tune into my channel I like to talk about makeup hair care cats <laughs> all kinds of things but anyways those are some palettes that I absolutely love and recommend um, that you pick up whether now or if you want to wait for the sale okay thanks a lot have a great day bye